So what does a theft of robbery polygraph exam actually analyze? Any detection of deception polygraph exam will analyze whether the person is honest or not in his or her statement. However, it's very important that we make sure that the scope of the polygraph test it's very, is very clear. Now, in a theft of robbery polygraph test, normally there are two options. Either we're going to do an investigation test or we're going to do a material authorship test, meaning oh, trying to find out if that person that we just that we will uh, examine is the perpetrator. Now, let me explain. Now, the choice between an investigation test and a material authorship test will depend on the objective of the test. For example, in an investigation test, we will try to find out if the people that we will examine have anything to do with the theft of the robbery. Did they do it? Did they participate? Did they benefit? Did they help in any way participate, pass even passively, in the theft? Now, material authorship test, what we will try to find out is that the person that we will examine is the perpetrator of the theft or the robbery. A third aspect that is very important is the time of res reference. Are we going to analyze a unique theft or robbery or is the theft that has been going over time? For example, a barman that might have been taking money out of the cash register during days, weeks, months, years. It's very important that we define the time of reference. Very important is that we cannot mix those two in the polygraph test. Either we're going to investigate theft that have been occurred over time, or we're going to investigate one unique theft. Now explain the situation to the polygraph examiner, and he or she will know what test to do and what technique to use. But in summary, the variables that we should consider are time of reference. Are we going to investigate one single theft, one single robbery? Are we going to investigate thefts that have been occurring over time? Number two, is it an investigation test? Meaning, are there several suspects? And we want to find out the degree of involvement or not in a theft. And number three, there is one suspect, and we want to know if that person is the perpetrator, if that person actually did the theft of robbery. Okay, I hope this answered your question. But if you, if you have another question, or you have another doubt, why don't you visit or look or take a look at the other videos we have on this playlist that might actually answer maybe another doubt, another question you might have. And if not, if you can't find the answer to your question, please send us an email and we will reply to you as soon as we can. Just a little message before you go and watch some other video. If you want to be updated about our most recent videos we upload, the questions we answer, or the opinions we might have about our industry, subscribe and you will be the first one to be informed about our latest videos, our most recent opinion. Subscribe. Have you? Okay. Don't lie to me. Don't lie to me. Should I take out the polygraph? Oh, okay. Okay. Subscribe.